Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show off another uh, wild food that can be found in the U.S. And once again, I want to make sure that you understand that it's up to you to make sure you're certain that you are certain of the identity of any faint food that you find in the wild before you try eating it. So here we have sassafras. Pretty common in North America, and there's uh, several uses for these. This is a rather small one. We can get up to three or four inches on diameter, and you know, probably about 15, 20 feet in, in height. I'm not sure exactly. The main thing for identifying them is the leaves, or spotting them. There's several different shapes that they can be. Most common is the mitten and this one, this shape. Here in Louisiana, the leaves are usually picked in the late, late spring, early summer, dried, ground up. That's what we call a gumbo filet. I've used wood from large, larger trees to uh, cook with. Specifically, the, the smoke gives really interesting flavors to meat when you uh, cook with it. And of course, the roots can be uh, used to make uh, root beer and also licorice. So you can use it to uh, add some flavor to your drink when you're... Uh, in a survival situation. One of the easy ways to help identify it is to uh, take one of the leaves, crush it, and rub it in your hands, and smell it. it has a Mild but distinctive odor, and if if you're familiar with uh, gumbo filet, you'll know exactly what it smells like. Same with the roots. Very distinctive root beer licorice smell. So if you're not sure, does it smell like licorice or root beer? It's not the right thing. The process uh, for making uh, gumbo filet is something I've actually done myself and not just buying it at the store, and it's just simple. In the late spring, you pick a bunch of the leaves and uh, spread them out on the, uh, I wash them, and then let them dry in, uh, on my, uh, in my oven on the sheet pans. Then once the uh, leaves are dry, I crushed them up and made, made gumbo filet. And my, what I mean by putting them in the oven is I just let the uh, pilot light provide all the heat. Didn't actually turn the oven on. Just left, left them in there for a few days with just the pilot light. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more, click subscribe. You can also click on the bell icon to receive notifications when we upload new videos. If you have questions or suggestions for new videos, please leave a comment down below. You can also consider supporting us on Patreon, and or you can join us on our Discord server. The links will be in the description below.